Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! So to Scotland now, where bad law and alleged broken promises have left seven farming families facing eviction. On the Isle of Arran, the Patterson brothers will be the first to go, leaving behind the farm they'd expect to hold for generations. The Scottish Government stands accused of abandoning tenant farmers who, following a change in the law around tenancies, have felt the rug being pulled from beneath them. Our chief correspondent, Alex Thompson, reports now from Arran. People come to Arran from all over unchanging, tranquil, a place apparently at peace. At 50 pound, at 50. But today, in the Glen, a family's entire livelihood goes under the auctioneer's hammer. The farmer, John Patterson, about to be evicted. He could barely look at this for long. This is a very bad day. This is a terrible day for us, yeah. I mean, you're, you're watching your livelihood go over the hammer. Yeah, virtually. Well, I can't watch it, so I've been staying out the road a lot of time, but yeah, that's what's happening right now. Right. It's emotionally heartbreaking, so it is right now. I mean, nobody likes to see their worldly possessions getting sold, do they? Especially for a minimum price, you know, we spent a lot of money buying that stuff new, and now it's practically going for a pound to the pound, some of it. Yes, they come to Aaron from all over, and they've come here too, offering support. Andrew Stoddard from the east of Scotland, a tenant farmer evicted last year. Here's David May from the west of Scotland, another tenant farmer. He'll be evicted next May. A bucket of nails, hammers, spanners, the fabric of a farm dismembered for every last knockdown penny. Bodies like the Tenant Farmers Association say it's come to this because the Scottish government made promises to involve the tenants and the landlords and the government in proper mediation. They also said they looked favourably on a compensation package and these bodies say the Scottish Government and the SNP have walked away from those promises. Those promises arose because a previous Scottish law to protect tenant farmers was found to be unsafe by the Supreme Court in London. London sent Edinburgh homeward to think again. The Government should at least come forward and honour what they committed to, which is now only compensation is left, the only route. Uh, but they need to engage and, and undertake what they promised. It is very shameful that t today, of all days, we have a Scottish government, a Scottish parliament, and actually they've enabled and provided for the clearance of these families. Some modern-day clearances. Neither the landlord concerned, nor more particularly the Scottish government, were prepared to comment about today's events to Channel 4 News. The Scottish government added, that it's committed to sustaining a strong rural economy. But what of this? It's not just selling machinery, evicting people. Ian Patterson at 24, the living embodiment of a young diversifying farmer. He's built up a falconry business here. 78 breeding pairs, mostly peregrines, sold to wealthy Gulf clients who bring their money to Aaron. No negotiations, no compensation, nothing. Left out to dry. Everything he's invested in and built up here must now be dismantled. What were you led to understand that the government would promise to do for you that it didn't do? The Scottish government promised to enter into mediation with us and they would, would look sympathetically upon us so they would, with regards to our compensation for the loss of our tenancies. But ever since the uh, claims were put in for the Scottish government, the roller shop bulls have came down and we've had no communication from them. Back in the house, Ian's father has had a stroke brought on, Ian says, by the mounting anxiety. It's been one of the worst experiences nobody should ever go through. No, never mind two young men like ourselves. No, no family or any person should go through the suffering we went through. Out in the Glen, John Patterson, perhaps for the last time, gathers some of their 1,400 ewes, part of a flock here built up over 230 years, now with an uncertain future. Shattered dreams for us. We weren't under the illusion that we were going to be here for generations, and now it's all just been taken away, and we've spent 
years developing the stock, developing the cattle, and now it's all just going to leave. But Scotland has seen steel and shipyard workers, miners and fishermen go to the wall. Why should tenant farmers be different? Because uh, there has been bad laws been passed by the Scottish government, and that there has been the. Uh, no composition, it's nothing to do with the industry itself, etc. It's just the fact that we had promises and now they've been broken by the Scottish Government. Just a few miles along the road, what do we find? Another Aaron Farmer facing eviction. Effectively, the government put us out. You know, OK, the landlords are doing their dirty work for them, but it was them that decided we should be the scapegoats. It's difficult, he said. Some understatement. Yes, yes, it is. Um, it's um, it's not easy. The the, the um, I think I, I think I referred to it as a. It's like a death in the family. Beneath the beauty of this landscape lie broken promises, broken dreams, broken livelihoods. Unless the government acts, the coming months will see further evictions roll out across Scotland. Alex Thompson, Channel 4 News, Aaron.